Hi guys, so this is Friday's story and this title of this book is called The, the Bear and the Piano. One day in the forest, a young bear cub found something he'd never seen before. What could this strange thing be, he thought. Shyly, he touched it with his stubby paw. Plunk! The strange thing made an awful sound. So the bear left, but the next day he came back and the day after that too and for days and weeks and months and years until eventually the sound that came from the strange thing were beautiful and the bear had grown big and st strong and grizzly when the bear played he felt so happy the sound took him away from the forest and he dreamed of strange and wonderful things. It wasn't long before the other bears in the forest were drawn to the clearing. Every night a crowd gathered to listen to the magical melodies coming from the bear and the strange thing. Then one night a girl and her father came across the clearing. They told the bear that the strange thing was the piano and the sounds it made were music. Come to the city with us, they said. There is lots of music there. You can play grand pianos in front of hundreds of people and hear sounds so beautiful they will make your fur stand on end. The bear knew that if he left the forest, the other bears would miss him very much. But he longed to explore the world beyond the woods to hear more wonderful music and play better than ever before. And before long, the bear's name was up in big bright lights in the big city, big bright city. He played sold out concerts in giant theatres. Every night he performed with such passion and such grace to wild applause and standing ovations and hood admiration. Can't even say the word. The bear recorded albums that went platinum and he was interviewed by magazines. He won awards. He met new people every day and created headlines everywhere he went. The city was everything he had hoped it would be, but deep down something tugged at the bear's heart. He had fame and wards and all the music in the world, but he missed the forest. He missed his old friends. He missed his home. So the bear decided to go back. He speedily cro crossed the river and excitedly bounded into the forest. He couldn't wait to tell his friends about his time in the city. But when the bear reached the familiar clearing, it was empty. No piano, no bears, no anything. The bear started to worry that his friends had forgotten him or that they were angry that he had left them behind. Then a friend stepped into the clearing. Hello, cried the bear. I'm back. I've missed you so much. Without saying a word, the grey bear ran back into the forest. Wait, called the bear. I'm sorry I left. Please stop. But his friend just kept running. The bear st stumbled after him, moving deeper and deeper into the forest until he saw something that, that made his fur stand on, stand on end. So after... For the bear had not been forgotten. His friends weren't angry, but proud. The bear realised that no matter where he went or what he did, they would always be there, watching from afar. They had even kept the piano safe in the shade, ready for his return. So after the bear had told his friends about the, his life in the city and the many concerts he had played, he sat down to play once more. 
this time for the most important audience of all his friends i really like that book one of my favorite so i hope you have a fabulous weekend staying safe and playing in the garden and i hope to see you next week see you later guys bye